Week five, day three, and the quality this week is humility. How you doing on your goals? You got Monday and you got Tuesday. You get plus or minus. If you got pluses, I'm proud of you. If you got minuses, I'm proud of you because you wrote, you put a minus on there. You accepted responsibility. If you have the quality of responsibility, you know it is your choice whether or not you have pluses or minuses. You're responsible. It's nobody else's fault. It's not your mama's fault. It's not anything else's fault. It's either you're doing it or you're not doing it, a plus or a minus. We're talking this week about humility, the quality of humility. And I've said it before, humility and hard working go hand in hand, just as purpose driven in the first lesson and commitment go hand in hand. You can't have a vision if you don't have a plan. If you've got a vision and you have no plan, that's not a vision, that's a dream. You're dreaming. Well, anybody can dream, but you need to have a vision, need to have a plan, need to be committed and follow through. The story today is really not a story, it's a fact. There, there's four stages of knowing. When I was coaching at a school, one of the assistant coaches came in and he said, uh, Coach, you know what the problem with these kids is? I said, well, I'm sure you're going to tell me. He said, they don't know, they don't know. And at first, that, that, that seemed so silly. I said, what do you mean they don't know, they don't know? He said, Coach, if you don't know what first class is, then you don't have any knowledge when you're not being first class. If you don't know what it is to go full speed on every single play, then you don't know that you're doing anything wrong. He said there's really four stages of knowing. The first stage is you don't know you don't know. And you remain blissfully ignorant. Well, that you don't know you don't know, I understood that. Because when I first started coaching, I had no idea. I, I, I thought I knew everything. I went to a clinic when I was 22 years old and I heard these men like Hayden Fry and Bum Phillips and Woody Hayes get up there and start talking about things that I go, man, I have no idea. These guys know so much more than I do. And it dawned on me that I could have stayed in that blissful ignorance my entire life. If you don't know, you don't know. You never look for an answer. You don't know what first class is. You don't look to be first class. The first thing I do, you gotta realize that you know you don't know. And the minute you realize that you don't know, what do you start looking for? You start looking for answers. And when somebody says, you don't know what first class is, and you sit and you think about it and you realize that you can't tell them what first class is. You don't know what it's like to play every play full speed. Okay, you're right, I've never played every play full speed. You don't know what it's like to make 35 calls a day. You're right, I don't know. But the minute you say, I know, I don't know, that is humility. That is accepting the fact that you don't know everything. You know that you don't know. And that becomes the, the instigator for everything else. The minute I know that I don't know, I start looking for answers. When I went to those clinics and I realized I didn't know something, I started buying books, I started going to clinics, I started talking to people. I tried to find out everything that I could. When you know you don't know, you start looking for answers. And when you do that, you find them. The third stage of the knowing cycle is you know you know. You got it. <laughs> I know what I know. I know what first class is. I know what going full speed is every play. And there's a confidence that comes from that. That's preparation. If you know, you know. And you got a chance. When I was a young coach, I said, you know, the one thing I really want to learn how to do is kick a football. 
Because no matter whatever happens in my career, we're going to always kick a football, kick it or punt it or do whatever you want to with it. So I went to a kicking camp by Ben Agajanian, really the first kicking coach at, that was hired in the NFL, hired by Tom Landry at the Dallas Cowboys. And I went to this kicking camp and I got there and I knew I didn't know. So I was looking to learn how to coach punters, kickers, deep snappers. And the first thing we do, we go out and all we do is kick. And I told uh, Agajanian, I was young, and I said, oh, I want you to act like I'm just a, a, a student. I'm just a player, I'm not a coach. And you teach me how to kick. And if you can teach me how to kick, I can teach somebody else how to kick, okay? So we go out and for 35, 40 minutes, all we do is kick. We kick, we punt, we deep snap, we do all these things for, you know, a couple of hours. And I'm thinking, boy, what a waste of $50. All we're doing is out here kicking. And there were like 15 of us and all we did was kick. And I was the only one that was over 16, 17 years old. So that evening we went and ate dinner. And then we get together in a, in a room and Agajanian got those Super 8 films. You remember those? No, you guys don't remember those. Nobody remembers those but me. And he starts going through everything we're doing wrong. Everything. First step's too long. You gotta take short. And so he gets through, and so I talked to him after we go through the video. And he says, don't ever try to coach a kicker until you let him watch a video. He don't believe one word you're saying until he sees it. I said, really? He said, oh, without a doubt. He said, just like you, you know, you're out there punting a the football and you think you're doing a great job and yet you look at how long your first step is. You can't kick a football with a long first step. Oh. So he said, the key to kicking is what? Knowing what to do, but number two, his video. Years later, 1976, I'm coaching the shot putters, Holmes High School. So I decided I'm gonna go to the University of Texas who've got the best shot put coach. The guy's a world renowned shot put coach. So I go to Texas, I call the guy and he's real rude and he says, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you. I'll give you 15 minutes. So I drive up to Austin, go in to see him. And he said, two things you need to know about the shot put, two things, and that's it. I said, okay. Number one, the lighter it is, the further it goes. I said, okay. He said, well, what do you think that means? I said, I have no idea. He said, spend twice as much time in the weight room as you do in the shot put ring. The lighter it is, the further it goes. The second thing, don't ever go out and throw the shot put without videoing it. No shot putter ever believes anything you tell him unless he sees it on the video. Two different things. No, you don't know. I knew I didn't know how to kick a football. Ben Agajanian taught me that kickers don't know they don't know until they see themselves. Know that you don't know. And then when you know you know, now you got a chance to transfer that knowledge to somebody else. But you have to use video to do it with. Nobody believes anything you're telling them about the step they took or the block they made. Make sure you show it to them. Fourth part of knowing the, no, the knowing stage is you don't know you know. Now that's almost as crazy as that first one, you don't know you don't know. The fourth stage is you don't know that you know. Let me give you an example. Michael Jordan goes down the basketball floor and makes an unbelievable move and makes a shot. He's watching it later on video and somebody says, how did you do that? And he goes, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Barry Sanders is on a football field and he's running right at this guy and he makes a move, spins and he goes and nobody touches him. And the coach is watching on video and he goes, how does he do that? And Barry Sanders said, I don't know. Race car driver is going down 
and he's coming up to pass somebody and he makes a swerve, he comes in and out, God, how did you do that? I don't know. You see, your body is so in tune that after you spend 10,000 hours in practice, you get to that elite stage of you don't know you know. And when the situation presents itself, you know. You know what to do. But it's only after you've spent those 10,000 hours practicing to get to that point. And people call it, he's in a zone. He's in a hitting zone. Golfer is in a zone. If you're in that zone, that's really don't know that you know. In your field, number one question, what is elite? What is elite in your field? Running for 2,000 yards, 27 pancake blocks, what is it? Of the four stages of knowing, don't know you don't know. No, you don't know. No, you know. Don't know you know. Which one are you in? Which of them do you think is the most important? Four stages, and they all have to do with humility. It begins with, you don't know, you don't know. See you tomorrow.